This video will show you how to replace the rear ABS wheel speed sensor on a Mitsubishi Lancer. This will be located behind your rear wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To gain access to the connector for the ABS wheel speed sensor, we're going to be inside of the trunk. Now we're dealing with the passenger side ABS sensor. The process will be the exact same thing for the driver's side. To gain access, we're going to remove the carpet and our insulator from along this area. Typically just go ahead and take hold of those and you can pull them out of place. Now that we have those pulled out of the way, we're heading towards where our rear seat is. Now we can see that we do have one plastic push clip. To dislodge this push clip, Carefully start pulling out on the center, that'll unlock it, and then you can remove the outer portion as well. For this, I'm just using an angled pick. It's something that I can make my way into this area with. You can also use a flat blade screwdriver if necessary. Here we are. There's our pin. Still in good usable order. Now we should be able to take hold of this, wiggle it around. We're going to pull it out of place. The ABS wheel speed sensor connector is down in this area. Now we can see our ABS wheel speed sensor wiring harness. We're going to disconnect the electrical connector. If you were to feel up along this inboard side here, close to where the fender would be, this is where we can find the locking tab. I'm going to squeeze that in and pull that down and out of place. A quick inspection of both sides for corrosion, of course. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, we're looking deep inside the wheel well area and this is where we can see our ABS wheel speed sensor wiring harness. We're going to be making our way downward, but first let's start right up along this area. You can see that we have a rubber protective plug. This is the seal that leads up into the body of the vehicle. You can see it from up inside the trunk. We'll just go ahead and pull down on this. We can remove that connector. Now we can see that the ABS wheel speed sensor wire mounts into this area as well. We'll just gently pry it out of place. For this, I'm using a trim tool. You can also use a flat blade screwdriver if necessary. You can see that. Now we'll continue following this down. We can see that there's a metal bracket held in place with a 12 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and remove the entire bracket. Let's continue on underneath the rear of the vehicle next. So now we're under the rear of the vehicle here and we can see where our trailing arm is. The ABS wire has another bracket which is held in place with a mounting bolt. Typically this will be a 12 millimeter, ours is an eight millimeter. Go ahead and remove that bolt and this bracket and we'll continue on just above it. A quick inspection of your mounting hardware as you continue on. Now for this plastic clip, you can see down along the bottom there's two small locking ears. You could try to squeeze those in and pull this up and out of place. Typically that can be difficult, otherwise we are replacing this. Just go ahead and pry it out of position. There's that. Let's get that out of there. Now we can see that it makes its way through this area to the back of the rear wheel bearing. So looking in this area, we can see that there's a 10 millimeter bolt holding it in place. We're going to carefully remove that. We don't want to break it off on the back side of the wheel bearing. Now let's reach into this area. We'll give it a slight wiggle, breaking it free, and pull it out and away. We can slide it through the trailing arm. There it is, friend. Now, prior to installation of any brand new part, of course, we're going to make sure we clean and inspect the mounting area. We are not using any type of detergent, which might make its way into the wheel bearing, causing an issue. Just go ahead and use a clean rag. We'll give this a gentle wipe. All right, now it's time for installation of the brand new ABS wheel speed sensor. We're going to start with the sensor portion itself right along here. We'll carefully take this and bring it up and through the port on our rear trailing arm. Now. 
Now we'll take this and slide it into the rear wheel bearing. We want to make sure that we have it completely aligned. We're going to also align the mounting bolt port, start it in, and lightly bottom it out. Just a gentle twist to make it aligned. Now that I have that snug, I'm going to torque it to 76 inch pounds. There we are. We'll just double check to make sure that's secured. We're just going to take this and press it down into its mounting bracket here. We'll double check to make sure that's secured. Now it's time for the metal bracket next. As far as this bracket is concerned, you can see that we have one locating tab and then of course the port for the mounting bolt. You have two ports on that bracket right across that trailing arm, so let's just get this in place. We'll start in our mounting bolt and snug it up. We'll double check to make sure that's secured. We can take this, we're going to bring it up and over the trailing arm next. And we'll make our way back into the wheel well. Now from up inside the wheel well area, let's continue on with our lower bracket. That's going to go right along this area here. We can see where the locating tab goes. Just go ahead and line that up. Now, once you have that in position, we're also going to continue on to the mounting bolt port. We want to have both of those areas aligned. 12 millimeter headed mounting bolt. Take hold of the bracket, make sure it's secured in place. Now we have our plastic clip. It's going to go right in this port. Line it up, press it in. We have our connector. We'll bring it straight up and through this port next. Now we have our rubber protective plug. We want to make sure that this is seated so it'll seal and no moisture or debris makes its way into the passenger compartment. Take your time on this. Typically you can do it by hand. You can also use a small pocket screwdriver if necessary to get things aligned. Once you're sure you have that in place, continue on with the reinstallation of your passenger side rear wheel. We're going to start on all five of our 21 millimeter lug nuts, then we'll bottom them out. We'll get the wheel safely on the ground and then torque each of these to 80 foot pounds. Now we've got the wheel back on the ground. We're going to be torquing each one of our lug nuts in a crisscross manner to that 80 foot pounds. Torqued. Once you're done torquing the wheel, make your way back inside the trunk. You're going to reconnect your ABS wheel speed sensor wire connector. We'll just press it in, listen for an audible click. Now we can protect that area. So we'll slide this into position here. And slide behind there. Now that I have that in place, let's continue on with that plastic push pin. And install your carpeting. Okay, friend, we've got our vehicle back together. Go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test and make sure you have no ABS wheel speed sensor light. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.